So here we have the Nissan Qashqai N connector on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll see we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got a 360 parking camera. We'll look at that in a bit more detail when we're inside the car. Plenty of boot space, as you can see, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then these two tray sections both lift, and if you wish to, remove to give you even more boot space underneath, as you can see. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now they're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 14,148. Uh, above that, we've got a digital readout for the speedometer. The information that's displayed there can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. There's various different menus, including satellite navigation, an audio menu, uh, driving aids, as you can see, and eventually we'll come back round to the beginning again. The buttons to do that are these ones on the left-hand side. We also have stereo controls over there. And then on the right-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. So hit that button. Ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it can do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you pair the phone up and that is done over on the center touch screen here. So hit the phone icon, connect, pair new device and then follow the instructions on screen from there. When it comes to music in this car, you can see we have FM, AM and DAB digital radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player. Uh, this car's also got auxiliary and USB inputs, and once you pair up your phone, you'll be able to stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. On top of all of that, this car has satellite navigation. There's a full video showing exactly how that works on both our website and on our Facebook page. And as I mentioned, when we're at the back of the car, it has a 360 parking camera. So uh, you can see the reverse camera there, and then the aerial view, if you like the bird's eye view of where this car is parked currently. It goes a couple of steps beyond that as well. If we press the camera button, we get a front facing camera and the bird's eye view, or a front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel. So with all those cameras, it does make it very easy to park. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the temperature on either side of the car. The fan speed up and down in the middle here. That button will turn the air conditioning on. It's on when that light shows, so off back on again or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed for you you can override that at any time you wish to simply by readjusting the fans and you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed at the bottom just there under that we have a 12 volt charging socket the electronic handbrake with auto hold function a six speed manual gearbox and then inside the central armrest a second 12 volt charging socket as well as the auxiliary and usb inputs that i mentioned previously all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.